Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our brand new Dynamics 65 Zero to Hero show. I am Ramit Paul, your favorite Microsoft MVP. Today, let me present you the one and only Mr. Saurabh Bharti. Saurabh does not need any introduction. Almost everyone from the Microsoft Dynamics 65 ERP industry knows Saurabh Bharti for his extraordinary blogging content and contribution. He is a big influencer in the community, I must admit. So, without further delay, let me welcome Mr. Saurabh Bharti in our podcast. Hello, Saurabh. Welcome to the show. Hi, everyone, and hope you all are doing well. And thank you, Ramit, for inviting me for this, okay, and share my experience and thoughts, okay. And first of all, uh, I, I, I should say that you have been doing a great work in the community and I really appreciate that. And and we need more and more people like like you who who, who work for the community, right? Who take out take out the time and then work for the community, right? So really appreciate that first of all. Okay. Uh, let me start with my quick introduction. Uh, I know there are a lot of people out there uh, uh, who who knows me? But uh, just for the introduction, that my name is Saurabh Bharti, okay, and I'm from India, but currently I'm working in London with a with a company called EY, okay, and I'm a Microsoft certified professional who is working in industry for almost now a decade, the more than ten years now. I have been working with different companies. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I have worked with PwC, Microsoft, uh, Capgemini, and right now I'm working with EY, and Ramit and me both are working with the same organization. Okay? Yes. That's common. Okay? So here, I have asked sort of what sort of loves to do when he is not working, when he is not writing contents for the community, when he is not learning some, something, uh, you know, in Dynamics or ERP. So, here is his answer. What I do uh, uh, when I'm not writing content or anything. Okay, so uh, I love food and specific, especially Indian street food. Okay, and and that's what I miss in London right now. But uh, but but I have found a lot of few lot of new places there where we we get this indian street food and the indian food right so that that's what i do i ex- keep exploring the new places to have food okay apart from that uh, one thing which i think uh, i mean i mean very few people know that that i watch only the hindi content on the ott because it's just for the entertainment so i watch a lot of hindi content uh, on the ott platforms a lot of series and everything right that's what I do. I, I go for, so London is really good for walking, right? So I just go for a walk, uh, I mean, whenever I get time and if if weather is good, because you never know when it starts raining here. and it, It's very unpredictable weather in London. Yeah. So that, that, that's what wow. I do, Lambert. Yeah. Great. Super. Thanks, Otto. So, sort of, I have another question for you that how did you come to the ERP consulting industry and what are the common challenges everyone face during starting up the career or someone, you know, transitioning from other industry to the ERP industry? So, what is the common challenges and how did you come to this ERP consulting industry? Oh, so it's a very interesting story uh, and not interesting. I think it, it just, it's just like when, when you, when you graduate from your college, right? So, most of the time we 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 don't know that where to go right so uh, uh when i passed out from uh my college right so i came to bangalore for for the job and there there i started my work career with a small company called quick quick Stakes technologies okay and that time i didn't even know about the dynamics but i knew something that i want to do something in consulting and that too with the IT consulting, the business consulting, right? So that that's what I I knew that point of time. So I started with my career with uh, with this company, and then there they were forming a new team for the Dynamics implementation, and that's where I got uh, introduced to Microsoft Dynamics. That time it was AX twenty twelve 
R2 I I started with and I started exploring the product from the scratch okay that time we we didn't had a lot of resources uh, out there where we can learn and 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 see the different features and the functionalities of the product right so very few resources were there uh, so it was all trial and tested thing okay but i was lucky uh, that i had one mentor at that point of time and i i must mention him his name is krishna okay so krishna sir uh, has got a huge experience in finance and accounting more than 20 plus years experience right so i used to explore the product and he used to give me the problems related to the finance and accounting uh, which organizations do right from business perspective in excel spreadsheet and then i used to just uh, uh, take that excel spreadsheet and see that how it can be configured and how it can be achieved right so it it was a good learning and having a mentor is very important uh, at every stage of your career and i still remember and it's a trial and tested uh, journey when when you start with the product learning okay so i still remember one one incident so we were doing one testing for procure to pay and uh, uh, we posted a purchase order receipt and then we posted the invoice and then we thought okay invoice activity is done let's go ahead and post the accounting entry for the invoicing and we posted the accounting inventory using the invoice journal by crediting vendor and debiting the expenditure and something and then when we went to the voucher transaction and checked the payable account and we found that well, how come it it has a double impact and that's where it clicked and i, I understood oh, there is a concept called sub ledger to ledger posting and there is a automatic posting happening at the time of invoice right so that's where i started learning the product right i think one of the key challenge uh, most of us uh, face is is to understand the uh, product uh, like where to start and what to start right so it is very important for a start uh, for, for for anyone who is starting in dynamics uh, on this product to understand that where they want to start with so there are a lot of areas so they they must understand the ecosystem that uh, it it is having different modules like finance procurement manufacturing human resource payroll there are a lot of things are there so first seeing their background they should decide where they fit more i'm not saying that they should just focus on one of the area they should eventually focus on other areas but first thing is they should start with a very basic thing that what is their interesting uh, 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 background in, in, interest in their background right so if someone is coming from uh, accounting focus on finance someone is coming from operations background understand the sales understand the procurement so go ahead do the purchase right purchase module and the supply chain right so that's what they should do and the second thing is that to the hands on uh, on on the product right without practice uh, i mean you are not going to get holds on this project a uh, product right so it is very important to practice 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 that's it what you need to do for learning this thing yeah great excellent inspiring story sort of uh, i must admit <clears throat> that you know uh, like like you said that practicing learning one thing and you know going through the videos blog is one thing but unless until you practice in the system i think that will be a very big challenge for the consultant to learn new things so i agree indeed thanks thanks for yep. sharing this out of yep. one more things out of you know uh, i must admit that you know from the community and you know there are a lot of people knows about your blogs and all but personally i believe that you try to write blogs in a layman language so that a not non erp guy or it guy who does not know about finance supply chain he they can understand just going through your blogs right so you know there are a lot of organizations or i can give you one example from my organization that when i have started learning advanced bank reconciliation landed cost module so i was you know going through your blogs and i totally understood that okay this is how we can do and this is the concept so it's not about only product it's also about the concept how you share or how you want people to learn from your blogs right so agree. from there Completely uh, agree. yeah from there i have one question that what motivates motivates you to do that because there are a lot of bloggers content creators that 
they share their blog from the product point of view however from your blog it is something else that everyone can understand so what motivates you to do that is there any reason or you have faced the challenges so yeah uh, so see one thing which i believe you know uh, so a lot of people say that uh, we started learning the product uh, we want to come into dynamics or any other product i'm not talking about only microsoft dynamics you want to go to sap oracle or any erp or any any software product if you are learning and a lot of people wants the validation from other people that what do you think i'm am i ready to go into the market uh, uh, did, did i understand that how these things works right and in my opinion there is one simple evaluation criteria the day you start giving or ex- the day you you can explain the product or the feature in your language and in your uh, with your examples right not with the examples which which are written in your standard content or by written by someone else right the start the day you start giving your uh, explaining the concept in your examples right with your examples right that day you can say that you understood that concept okay or understood that product or the feature that's a simple evaluation criteria right because when we start giving our uh, start using our own example that means we understand that how that uh, feature in and out works you know and that's what i do with my uh, uh, blog content that did if i read this thing as a non accounting person or just a person who is coming from uh, a engineering background who doesn't understand debits and credits or anything will i understand this so that is where one of the thing which i do is that i always i always keep a scenario while writing a blog and then further elaborate that how it works in a in a in, in a product right and if i talk about the motivation you know so there is one uh, saying or the one line which i remember i i heard somewhere and it is about learn from others experience because life is very short to have all the experiences okay so basically i mean you you can't have all the experiences in the life so start learning from others okay so what you have explored let's say if ramit writes something so i should uh, learn from ramit's blog or ramit uh, content what ramit's writing right and then on top of that i should add my learning right so i have now two persons experience ramit's experience and my own experience right so that's how i mean uh, i i consider this and apart from that the biggest motivation is to help out people out there i get a lot of messages personally people say that yeah it helped them in their uh, work or right like it, it is helping them in understanding the product right and another thing is that uh, when i used when i was 3 4 years of experience where you start getting the complex scenarios from your customer right so you start looking out for the help and i found that there there, there are very few people who are helping in the community right and i understand a lot of people have the time constraint and other things so i i was not getting that kind of response and for for very basic problems which which i was facing or maybe that time i was having less less experience so then what i thought is that i should start sharing my uh, uh, learnings with the community because if i am facing this issue someone else also is facing that issue so uh, so i was in us in 2020 before the pandemic and because of time difference i had lot of time so then i started writing the uh, content and i started documenting the content which i was learning on a day to day basis and i just uh, keep posting that on linkedin and then i started uh, posting on my blog side right so that's where it is started and 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 i started getting a good response uh, from the people uh, i started getting requests from the people that can you explain this concept can you explain that concept so i think that 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 motivates me that if if a single person is also getting the benefit uh, from my content right i'm 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 really happy my job is done and i don't consider myself as blogger or someone who is writing blogs you know what i do is that whatever i learn i just document it and share with everyone and that is where if you see my blog site name it says the explode dynamics 365 together so it's not me only who is going to write everything or share everything i want uh, 
I mean, I, I mean, I want others also to share so we can do it together, right? It's not one person job to share everything, right? So it's a collective learning for each and everyone. So that that's what is the motivation that it is helping a lot of people out there. And I'm also learning. I'm getting uh, uh, connect uh, with, with with people like you and uh, learning from you guys, like when, when you are sharing your knowledge uh, with the community. Great, amazing. Thanks, Saurabh. And, you know, I must admit and I must share that one of my experience that uh, whenever any new joinee joins or trainee joins in our organization or other organizations, I suppose, we always say that you, you know, watch out Saurabh Bharti's blog. You will understand what is this. So this is the one feedback. And, you know, one more thing you have shared, learning from sharing. I mean, learning by sharing. So that is one of the key aspect of uh, motivating you to share your knowledge, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Good story. Thanks, sort of. So, sort of, I will ask you a different question that, you know, to succeed or to survive, what is important in the industry to be good, to be a good consultant? You can share your knowledge okay. or you can share your view. So the very difficult uh, question, Pravit, uh, you know, but uh, I think there are, uh, uh, I mean, there, there are few rules which I follow personally. Okay. So first thing is invest in your learning. Okay. And most importantly, share your learning selflessly without anything expecting in return from the community. I think that is one thing which you, which everyone should start doing that. Okay. The second point is that be fearless at your work. Don't be scared of taking risk in your career or, or maybe while exploring anything in the product. I say to everyone who joins newly in the organization or who is starting the career, break the system. Nothing is going to happen. If you if you want to break the system, do whatever you want to do with the purchase order. You yeah. you I want you to break the system. Let's see what what you can what uh, unique error you can bring to me. Right. So be fearless at your work. Don't be scared of taking risk in your career. OK, and for the Microsoft Dynamics uh, 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 purpose, like if you want to be the functional consultant, right? So your preparation should be 360 degree. So learn product in all the areas. OK, so if you are the finance consultant, try to learn the impact in the procurement, inventory, manufacturing, retail everywhere. OK. Uh, work on understanding the customer business, okay, the, from the functional aspects and the business process. Don't be the expert in the customer business because when we go to the customer, right, they are doing their business for, I mean, decades, right? So we can't teach them that how to run the business. But what we can learn from them that what the business process they are following and we can bring our expertise, right, based on our experience, previous experience, that how you can, uh, improve uh, the business processes which they are following, bringing the uh, best practices, right? Or maybe the learning experience, right? What we had in the previous uh, uh, projects, right? Work on the soft skills, very important, right? When I say soft skill, it doesn't uh, only include the communication, uh, the speaking communication. It also includes your uh, the written communication, right? Where you write emails, how do you write emails? How do you respond over the team chat to your customers? Uh, uh, how do you write your documents, right? So work on all these, uh, I mean, skill sets, okay? And I, I say that to become a functional consultant in, 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 in this uh, 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 industry, right? Uh, the product is 30%, okay? Rest of the skill set which I have spoken, right? Understanding customer business, focusing on uh, your soft skills, right? Be the customer-centric person, right? See, this this is this is the 70% in, in your career, right? So, because product can be learned uh, by anyone, okay? If you, if you invest uh, some time, you will learn the product. There are a lot of content out there for explaining the product features and things, right? But... Un, but gaining that skill set of becoming the functional consultant, right? Uh, it's very important that you you work on that from the day one itself. And the last thing which I would say is the time management. Work on your time management, be on time, respect the time for others. So a lot of people get so busy and I mean, in their career or because of other things, like they say like we don't have the time for learning or something like this. I learn from you, 
uh, Ramit, I mean, you are doing your work, you are <laughs> investing your time in community, doing this, uh, I mean, podcast or, or, or activities like this. So it's just about the time management and the more and more you do this, right, uh, the more and more returns you will get in the long term, definitely. Amazing. Great. I agree. Sort of the time management is important thing. Uh, you know, even if we are working in a different project, in different implementation, some sometime we you know go through the pre-sales activity, we go through the multiple projects in the same time. Still, yeah. we need to have the learning mindset that we will not say that, okay, I don't have time and so that I will, I won't be able to learn. So if, if someone says, uh, this is my personal view, someone says that I don't have time, then I'm sure they are lying. They must be having time <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, it's it just yeah. about where, where you want to invest your time. So it's it's just about the priority. So that's what I said. The first thing is invest in your learning apart from your work. So if you are, if you want to excel in your career, right, that's where you need to invest. And that this is all for like people who are starting the career. But one request, I, I don't have suggestion for the people who are experienced and working in the industry for many years, right? I have a request to them, you know, you need to come out and share your experience with the community. We need more people, right? And if you think like it is not going to impact in the in, in the community, then I, I should tell you that it has a very big impact than what you think of, right? So come out uh, in a weekly, if you take out one hour or two hour to writing a content or sharing your thoughts on your, uh, I mean, with, with your experience, right? It will it will help a lot of people out there. So that's a request I would uh, make to anyone who is listening this, uh, who has got a lot of experience in dynamics, but uh, I mean they have not come out and then share their knowledge in the community. So that that's one request to them. Great, amazing. I I also agree with you that you know people like you, uh, you know, very people like you can share the knowledge to the community. I also try to share my knowledge, whatever I learn, whatever I get to know that, okay, this might help to the broader level. Maybe we are not talking, are not working in the same organization. We, we may be competitor to each other, but at least, you know, if we share and if the business problem gets solved, then at least, I mean, at the end, our Microsoft Dynamics industry and the ERP industry will be increased, right? So That's people will That's get fun. the, yeah, yeah. One more, you know, question that, you know, there are people like you have suggested to share the knowledge, right? So there are people what I've observed from my personal, uh, you know, view that there are people who wants to start, but they are somehow, you know, some reluctant or they are thinking, okay, what people will say if I don't write good content? So what do you suggest to them? You know, I would say don't get scared uh, about this thing. I was scared when I started writing with the, I, I have gone through the same thing. Right. One of the things you should do, you know, write less content and put the screenshots and explain through your screenshots and the, the things because, you know, pictures speaks uh, louder than your words. Right. Yeah. So that will that will help you to write, uh, write uh, start, uh, start writing the content basically because pictures, you know, you just take a screenshot from the process and just do the step by step thing. And it's a journey, you know, it's a, it's a marathon, it's a, it's a journey, right? Uh, you need to be consistent in that. And when you write your first blog and when you write your 50th or 100th blog, you will realize that you have uh, you have come a long way. So don't, I mean, you just need to start, right? Keep moving. That's it. Great. Sort of agree. Inspiring. Yeah. Sort of. Thanks so much. And so... One more, you know, small, uh, you know, feedback or maybe observation I can share that in the good, good thing about you that, you know, I will give an example that, you know, in India, GST just started on 2016-17, right? So many people, almost everyone, 90 to 92 percent have started, you know, learning GST in Microsoft Dynamics started looking your blog. I, I think you are the first person to write a blog on GST, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. 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 It's a GST was, I mean, was a nightmare when it came, you know. So that's what I said. Like, I just, whatever I faced, you know, I just documented that. And yeah, you are right. Like, a lot of people in India now, I mean, I mean, looking at those blogs, right? They are, they are, they are learning. It is helping them. So it, it feels good. Great. I am one of them, you know. 
I have learned GST by looking at your blogs. <laughs> and whenever a new joinee comes, because uh, we work in a you know organization where our entity you know somehow limits to the India, so we get a lot of Got Indian it. customers. So GST is somehow mandatory for new joinee even there. So we always suggest you go to the blogs. We will understand each and everything. So they are taking advantage. So. We need That's people true. like you, and if not only sort of Bharti, we need more sort of Bharti in the industry. Uh, of yeah. course, of course, we, we need lot. Of, there are a lot of people out there who can share their knowledge. So yes, they should come out. Yeah, yeah. One more observation I have, you know, I was thinking in our mind that you said, you if you can't explain, then if you if that that means you still need to learn on that. That means that doesn't mean that you don't know, but if you can't explain. That reminds me of a you know quotes of Sir Albert Einstein that if you can't explain it correctly, then you don't know the concept. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for it. Thanks, thanks for uh, sharing your knowledge. It is I think it has been really great session. Uh, people will learn. People will understand. People will surely get the motivation uh, to share their knowledge, learn how to learn, what to be, you know, what to do to be a good consultant, uh, product knowledge, uh, business knowledge, how to solve business problem. So thanks for it. I know it has been really no amazing and inspiring sessions. So thanks, Ramit. Amazing. Thanks, Ramit, for your time thanks. as well thanks. and inviting yeah. me for this. Thanks, sort of, uh, for your time. Yeah, same here. I wish you all the best, sort of. I'm waiting for your next blog. Oh, definitely. I'm. I'm right now. I'm exploring the subscription billing. So I'm writing more and more things <laughs> on the subscription billing. So yeah. Uh, you you will see okay. lot of things there. But you said you don't write long contents. You like to walk in holidays. So still you are writing. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean I, I mean see see sometimes so uh, it it is boring, right? Sometimes on the weekends, right? Like uh, I mean you can go out and do things, but still you you feel like okay, let's write something because during the weekdays you you don't get time so much time to write on blogs and exploring things. And blog writing blog is a very difficult thing. Okay, I mean it's not easy. <laughs> Because you need to first learn yourself, and then you write that content, right? So, uh, it it's a, it's a journey, right? It's a it's a difficult thing to do, but yeah. One more exciting question I have: Can we see Saurabh Bharti in YouTube somewhere down the line, or is there any plan? Uh, I mean, you you know, I'm planning to do so, and I'm I'm I will surely. I mean, uh, yesterday only I was thinking that I should uh, start recording things uh, as YouTube videos, but you know, one thing which I I realize uh, is that yes, you can. Uh, I mean, explain the concept using the YouTube videos or any any other form of video, right? But you know the when. when people get the problems and when they search on the google for that problem and when they get the content which is written right it's more convenient for them right because they can just read and then they can open one screen and then they are reading it and then they are testing it out right doing the same thing in the youtube video or any other form of video is bit difficult they have to just be concentrated on that video and then watch it and do this so yeah i'm planning to do so uh, and but i think i should keep writing also not not only the the videos yeah great 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 ideas thanks sort of for sharing yep. it you know okay so i think uh, we can wrap up we will definitely sure, meet somewhere we will record another session down the line okay thanks sort of thanks for the time again once again thanks sir mate thank you day, sort of. bye you too bye so ladies and gentlemen this was sort of bharti for you Shoda has talked about on many aspects such as learning from others share knowledge to be a customer centric person invest in learning practicing things is more more important and many more things he has talked about and i would say what a session it was we wish shoda all the best and we want shoda to keep achieving heights and helping all of us thank you shoda once again Thanks for watching everyone stay tuned for another episode bye for now